Welcome back to Thionite Plays Xenoblade Chronicles 3. On the last episode, we completed Eno's Ascension Quest, and we had a lot of fun saving the Nuppons. On this episode, we are going to be doing the Third Waves DLC Heroes Initial Ascension... Not Ascension Quest. The Initial Quest that we need to recruit her. Something about jewelry, I think. Anyway, before we get to that, tiny quick thing. If we go into characters and we go into Eno and we do the Eno swap, I have 158 ether cylinders. Uh, between episodes, I went around the world a little bit and got a bunch of ether cylinders. What I found is the higher level the monsters protecting the ether spheres, ether spheres is the proper name, but uh, the more ether we get from it. So I believe like one of them, they were like level 70 monsters and like the lower regions of Mac the Wildwood, and they give me like 20 ether cylinders right there. It was all around pretty fantastic. So I'm going to spend these on, ooh, what do we want to spend them on? What do we have? 25% chance to restore HP by 7%. Uh, it's the ones in the bottom. Boost recharge rate by 15% each time the character is incapacitated. I think I'm going to just raise the power of the arts, because this is 15, that's... 30, 45, 60, 75 right there. Uh, yeah, let's do the arts, because we're going to be using Eno Cha-Ching, indeed, and the new one. I don't even know their name, so we will find that out shortly. But we're going to be using Eno and the new hero pretty much exclusively for the rest of the game, because I should have really had them a lot earlier in the game, but we're not going to worry about that. Uh, Photon Storm, raise that up. Raise the his house, Eno. Officially over halfway there, which is nice. Uh, sure. Enhance the talent art, because that's the best. Ooh, attack and agility by 15, or by 5%, 15 each. So that's 30, and that's 50. Start a, start a chain attack increase by 5. Yeah, definitely want to do those three. That should leave us with, like, only 8, uh... Ether cylinders left? Yes. Perfect. Cha-ching indeed, you know. 66% and we got a lot more power. And we can also get this one because why not? You know, I'm sure you are. Uh, by 8% with a fading. Interesting. Not going to worry about that so much. Eno is doing rather well for herself. And we are still playing as Noah because Noah is, of course, a very powerful set right now for like the break topple days because tri slash breaks paired up with shield black shield bash so we can instantaneously get a topple if the break goes through and then soaring tempest does the launch so noah right now with this setup has three of the four combos that we need so honestly pretty nice pretty pretty nice anyway we're in the city right now because this is of course where we need to go can we get the camera a little bit a little bit more back Perfect. Can we also get a little bit more up? Tiny bit. Eh, it's fine. Uh, because we need to go pretty much outside of the the torpedo wrap store. Like, right outside Michibel Canteen for this. So, I am extremely curious about what this could possibly have. Because this, I know nothing about this. I knew a tiny bit about Eno going into it. But I know nothing about this. So, brand spanking new. Let's see what this is all about. Show me that new hero, baby. Oh my, oh my. Whatever is the meaning of this? That's most peculiar. There had never been any issue with me hitching a ride on an armory before. Now you're telling me that I, moi, yours truly, may not accompany you. Elder's orders, ma'am. Please don't make things difficult, Miss Masher. You know well enough. I don't have the authority to permit your departure without at least a platoon for protection. Yes, I do understand, of course. Sensible, really. Given poor Uncle Gurney's horrid plight, heightening security on all outbound transports, are we, Moni, dearest? I've needs, too. Forget platoons. I've a mind to enlist every lost number there is. Would that suit you better? That said, perchance, if you were to reconsider, I would be more than capable of fending for myself. Do you see what I'm alluding to? 
I'm in no position to decide, Mom. In any case, I'm afraid you'll have to take it up with the Elder. Oh. I commend your obedience. Thank you. That'll be all. Oh, what a wet blanket. And here I was, so raring to go. I feel as a babe, cast by the wayside. To business. Let's see. How might I foil Moni Dearest's little arrangement? Does Monica have a, a sister? Uncle Uncle Gurney, Uncle Gurnica. Does Moni Monica might does does she have a sister? How have we not heard of this? Where oh man, if I wasn't abiding by my rule of only using Eno, I I would get Monica and Gondor out here right now. It's like, do you have a sister slash aunt? Oh, I am intensely curious. And she's French. This is the best. Excuse me. Hello. Aren't you? Have you perhaps business outside of the city? And if so, might it trouble you to take me with you? That came out of nowhere. Who even are you? You don't know. This is Lady... Ah! Where are my manners? Please forgive my impertinence. It's simply that I'm in something of a hurry. Masha, pleased to make your acquaintance. Hi, Masha. We're... Oh, I know full well who you are. You're a known quantity here, my dears. You'd be hard-pressed to find anyone in the city who doesn't know of you. You said you wanted to accompany us. Why? Gosh, aren't you a cautious one? It's nothing of grave importance, I assure you. I just happen to have some personal matters to attend to in the Faunus region. The Aegis Wilderness, to be precise. It may surprise you, but I happen to have a modicum of skill in battle, above that of the average layperson. It wouldn't be the first time I've left the city. In fact, I'm rather accustomed to working on my own. But it seems I've been met with some skepticism. Dear me. Pull the other one. You can fight! Her attire certainly doesn't conform to lost numbers dress code regulations. It's about as far from military fatigues as you can get without falling off the edge of the world. Yes, yes, I get that a lot. But I'm afraid my fashion sense is non-negotiable. Only when one pursues beauty with every breath is it that one may validate proof of one's existence. Uh, sure. Eager's wilderness, huh? We might not be going there for some time. Is that okay? No trouble at all. I'm sure you have your own duties to fulfill. I hope you'll allow me to humbly assist you as a concerned and dedicated representative of the city. Well, as you can see, I could not have found more exceptional bodyguards. You'll have no qualms now, I hope. Ah, give Moni Dearest my regards, won't you? Very well. All right, people, what say we get a move on? Time waits for no cognoscenti. Yeah, okay, keep your air on. Well, guess you're with us for a while then, Masha. Don't worry, you'll be in good company. Masha has joined the party temporarily. So the Fornus region, ooh, this is going to be interesting. I suppose we might even have a closer skip travel point. Oh, Masha, I'm so incredibly curious. I feel like I might have heard the name Masha before, but it really doesn't ring any bells. Where exactly in the Fornus region? I know you said the Aegis Wilderness, but where is that? Is that... Oh, yeah, we totally... Oh, Zem's Crossway. All right, fine. Tyon, you know exactly what we're talking about. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder... Because uh, hold on, I'm I wanna I wanna check something. Monica. 
Where is Monica's portrait? Because it doesn't look like Monica has, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, when it comes to like the Agnians, they have like their pseudo core crystals. Like Mio has hers, Senna has hers. Masha seems like she had a core crystal. I mean, it could be a piece of jewelry, which is uh, probably, I mean, like I remember one of the blurbs said that they had like a, a jewelry like skills, skills with like crafting accessories or what have you. So it could be a piece of jewelry. Hmm, but Monica, Monica usually wears the fatigues, so we don't know if Monica has a core crystal herself, so I suppose it's technically still a possibility. It's just very curious, very curious indeed. Fornis region, I suppose we can make our way over there and see what else we have. Hmm, I'm sticking with sister until we have, because the other, the pilot referred to her as lady which is, you know, like a nobility. So probably from one of the noble houses. So unless we get like really damning evidence to the contrary, I'm gonna stick with sister. Hey, did you guys hear something? Sorry, I'm rambling. That's that's what we do. Let's go to the Fornis region, Let's figure out what we're actually after. And we've arrived. I wonder, honestly, I wonder who the inheritor of her class is going to be. I mean, it's probably going to be Mio, if I'm being honest. It's probably going to be Mio, because, um, wait, didn't we see one of the blurbs about, like, the initial, like, text box or whatever? Like, a new hero is available, and it showed Mio. It's probably going to be Mio. Anyway, we're right here. It's literally inches away. Well, lady, we're here. The Aegis Wilderness. Like you asked. Lady? I do have a name, you know. Um, so, Masha, what's the plan now? You are aware of the Annihilation events, yes? Of course we are. Do you think we've had our heads stuck in the mud or something? Well, I happen to be looking for a patch of land that was the site of such an event. The Ecus Wilderness, being prone to frequent events, makes it a prime location for my purposes. Except that runs the risk of us walking straight into another one ourselves. Yeah, we better not stick around here too long. Hold on. Tyon used to be in Agnes's survey branch. I think he's researching the area. Wonderful. Music to my ears. There's one old site. The survey branch maps have it labeled as Piento Basin. It's something of a trek, but it might be sensible to head there instead of us wandering around aimlessly for hours. My, what a strikingly valuable piece of information. I couldn't have asked for more. We'll go with you. You don't want to be dealing with all the monsters roaming around here alone. <laughs> a most gracious offer. I suppose I'll take you up on that. So, what's so important about this place, anyhow? A picture is worth a thousand words, my dear. If luck should favor us, you're sure to find out soon enough. Marching straight into annihilation zones. You must have nerves of steel. <laughs> you flatter me to no end, Lance. And as we all know, flattery will get you everywhere. Lance, you're really channeling the spirit of the man who used to wear those clothes. Where exactly is Piento Basin? The name does not ring a bell whatsoever. Oh, probably because... Have we been here before? This is... Oh, I think this is like a sinkhole, isn't it? Oh, the thing, the Aether Spheres have come back. I'm very curious. Well, I'm not that curious. We'll do those later, I guess. Gal, Gal, go, get Gal Gower's men, menu, menu, manure. I've always had trouble with that. It doesn't matter. I'm very curious. Why? I wonder why they'd bring us to the locations of Annihilation events. My guess is uh, a little bit of trivia. If you remember, or, well, not remember, but if you know about, um, like the US's tests of nuclear explosions, the site of when nukes go off, uh, those particular like the giant warheads that you know give you the mushroom clouds, uh, I believe one of the original tests test sites of that when they first like were testing nuclear power, uh, the explosion turned the sand of like that location into like 
green glass that was otherwise, you know, like never seen before. And if we're going with the jewelry route, I wonder if it's something akin to that, like the high energy of the annihilation events create rocks and gems that are otherwise, what, monsters? Otherwise never before seen. What? It doesn't look like anything. It's just a bunch of birds. They're only level 43. I'm not gonna... Oh, you were talking about the Ropals. They were only level 16. Were you guys focusing on the birds? It doesn't matter. Twin rings. That's what her rings are called. Oh, no, it is the Taos. Again, it's not really that concerning. Oh, at some point, I should mention, I switched lands over to Gray's Gunslinger slinger class at some point because... Uh, oh, Mash is a healer. Interesting. Ooh, we might use Masha. Ooh, that'll depend on what her powers are. Ooh, interesting indeed. I needed another healer. Or, not another healer. I needed an attacker after... Yeah, shut up, guys. Shut up, Lance. I needed an attacker after we switched over to Eno's defender, so that's why. Uh, I'm very curious about what this is. I'm gonna get these items first, though, because these items, it saves us time in the long run, inevitably. Also, give me this hunk of meat. What is this, I wonder? My, oh my! To think that I would find one so soon. Let it never be said that the fruits of one's labors are not rewarded. What have you got there? Again, I must extend to you my deepest thanks. I would never have laid my hands upon this were it not for your sterling efforts. It's a rock? Looks like a rock to me. Hmm, those are unusual inclusions. I've never seen anything like it. It's as if a number of different types of stone have all been interlaced. On the ball once more, your assessment is absolutely correct. This stone was formed after several types of subterraneous minerals were exposed to tremendous energy, merging into one. Tremendous energy? The annihilation effect. <laughs> it finally clicked, I see. You might even call this stone a new type of mineral, a curious byproduct of annihilation. As it is created through sheer chance, it is vanishingly improbable that one might reproduce it through human means. So it's a pretty precious stone then, is what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> Do you see now why it is that I was so adamant to depart the city? It does seem pretty special. But what are you gonna do with it? Wear it? Not a terrible idea, really. But no, I already have a different purpose for it in mind. Oh, yeah? Indeed. Allow me to reiterate before I recapitulate. A picture is worth a thousand words. Chosen friends, might I ask you to return with me once more to the city? Indeed, what outcome might this ill-omened stone born of calamity bring about? In due time, I will show you. Enigmatter times four. I totally called it. The high energy of the annihilation events. Oh, I know my science. I know useless facts. Guess we have to go back to the city. Let's continue this somewhere altogether more comfortable in the city. Yeah, we can. We can chat about this in Michiba Canteen. I'll treat you to some nice dinner, Masha. Or, well, if you're the elder's sister, you can treat us. But, you know, Lanz eats a lot, and Manena eats a lot, and Riku... Riku's pretty modest about what he eats. Let's send this guy off, because we're right here, and then uh, let's meet back up in the city. Such is the Opsia's duty. Every day's a training day. Read the room, Lands. This is a somber moment, not the time for exercise. Without further ado, heavens above, I'd completely forgotten. W what is it? 
I'm so sorry. I failed to mention what is arguably the most vital facet of my identity. Come again? Um, I know it's rather late, but allow me to formally introduce myself. Masha, Lapidarist extraordinaire at your humble service. Lapi what now? A Lapidarist extraordinaire, my dear. An artisan of the crafts, if you will, in drab layman's terms. I specialize in gem processing and precious metalwork, mainly, but I also dabble in many other types of ornamentation. Ah, huh. sounds like you keep busy. Ah, could I trouble you for a bigger reaction? Uh, you're the fabled Lapidarist extraordinaire, or how inspirational would fit well in this conversational beat? If anything, I'm surprised you had time to learn to fight like you do, on top of all your other hobbies, I'd say. Oh, I hadn't considered that possibility. Thank you for your honest opinion. These crafts you're talking about, you can make something from that stone. I can, and I shall. Let's see. Judging by the quality of this stone, it might make for a fanciful ring. Normally, it's my policy not to show my methods to the general public. But I'll make an exception this time, just for you. Now watch as the city's lauded Lapidarist extraordinaire flaunts her artisanal prowess. Crafting accessories. At rest spots, Masha can craft accessories using Enigmatter, which can be traded for in the Land of Challenge. Ooh, I am very glad we did the Land of Challenge first. Crafted accessories are different from regular accessories in the following ways. Their special effect is decided at random. Oh, lovely. Accessory type affects each effect's probability. Oh, that's... That's gonna be interesting. In addition to the special effect, four potential basic stat boosts will also be assigned. Accuracy or accessory type affects each boost's probability. The basic stats that can be boosted are max HP, attack, healing power, dexterity, agility, critical rate, and block rate. Stack boosts will confer reduced bonuses. Okay, so you could technically get four boosts to attack, but each one would be progressively weaker and weaker. Gotcha. Only one crafted accessory can be equipped per character. All right, so at least that's... At least that removes some level of randomness from this. Very interesting. I'm very curious to try this. I wonder how random it's going to be. You can use Enigmatter in the Craft Accessories menu to craft special accessories, which is a new icon. Very cool. Oh, I like the design of this menu. The type of accessory will affect what special effect it will be more likely to confer. Select the Enigmatter ring. So we have the bangle, the ring, and the collar. More likely to have abilities tailored towards defenders, attackers, and healers. Oh, okay. So if you want healing stuff, you'd go for collars. Attackers want rings, and defenders want bangles. Okay. And then we have... I want to explore the other tabs. It looks like you can, like, enchant them and recycle them based purely on those icons. Oh, man, we might finally have a use for the money because this is, like, only 10 grand. But, you know, we have, you know, 70 times that. So it, it's it's a fantastic... Seven times that? 70 times that. Doesn't matter. We have a lot of money. Give me the ring. Accessory crafted. Pro ring sunrise one. Fails chain attack gauge slightly on critical hits. Ooh, that might be good on um, Noah if he's rocking Ethel's class. Because isn't that pretty... No, it, uh, it might be... Whoever... It, Kamaravi? One of these people have like really good uh, chain attacks or critical hit based builds. So that's probably going to be interesting. Enhancing accessories. Okay, so this is the next tab. Crafted accessories have the item grade IG and can each be enhanced to item grade 5. 
Okay, so you have five different stages. Materials like Enigmatter are also required for enhancement. Raising the item grade will be beneficial in that it will bo both strengthen the accessory's special effect and enable stat boosts. Oh, so it's prob it probably starts at rank 1, and then each sub subsequent upgrade will unlock the last, like, four effects. Okay, that's probably how that works. Switch over to the accessory enhancement. Go ahead and enhance the accessory just created. Pro Ring, Sunrise 1. So I need one Enigmatter and another five grand. Uh, Phil's Chain Attack Gauge slightly on critical hit. Phil's Chain Attack Gauge slightly on critical hit. So it probably will get better and better at filling the Chain Attack. Let's see what this does proper. There. 294. Than ever. What is that? What does 294 mean? Dismantling accessories. You have... Or you have space to craft up to a total of 300 accessories. These cannot be sold, but you can dismantle ones that you have no use for. Oh, so you can make a bunch of special accessories up to 300, but only up to 300. By dismantling an accessory, you'll get back some of the materials, not all of them, used to create and enhance it. Dismantled accessories are gone forever, so choose carefully. Deck your party out in accessories tailored to their needs, strengthening the ones with useful effects and dismantling those that won't be much help. Very intriguing. Hmm, I wonder how they're gonna allow us to get more Enigmatter. <laughs> Beautifully done, if I do say so myself. Durable and easy to refine. I made the right call picking that stone for an accessory. Mio, I'd like to impart this ring to you. Huh? Are you sure? Never more. Take it and keep it to commemorate our meeting. Wait, didn't you go searching for that stone because you wanted the ring? They do say that curiosity and danger are two trunks of the same tree. What you ought to know about me is that I live as I please. That's really all there is to it. I'm surprised. That's not the kind of mentality I'd have expected from one of the city folk. Yes, you'd think that, wouldn't you? But having different thoughts and beliefs, that's what makes us human. Just as the people of House Vandom march on Mobius, waving the banner of war, so do you have House Doyle, who stay back, putting the city's preservation above all else. But that's not to say everyone who chooses pacifism thinks the way a Doyle might. Myself, for instance. But aren't we supposed to all be working together to defeat Mobius? Yes, I acknowledge that truth as well. It's a thorny question, to be sure. But be that as it may, I simply cannot in good conscience abandon my principles. Even straying from the soldier's path, how could I deride anyone who seeks meaning in life? Who strives for an enlightened future? <sighs> the city today is a melting pot, one great messy confluence of thoughts. But I'm of the belief that one day they will all meld together to create sweet, perfect harmony. Much like the stone that we discovered. Incidentally, and I'm sorry to change the subject, I think I've taken quite a liking to you all. And on that note, I have a suggestion. What would you say to entering into an exclusive contract with moi? Huh? Contract for what? It would grant you the right to receive my premium services as a lapidarist extraordinaire, expressly and expeditiously. Clearer now? And that applies to you, especially. M me You have the makings of a model, Mio. Such qualities are rare to come by. You are a diamond in the rough, my dear. <laughs> I can see it now. You'll be a future trendsetter. Th thanks, I guess. Oh, but I wouldn't dream of forcing you. That would go against my principles. All right, my dears. Might I have an answer? Y 
Yeah, okay. I wouldn't mind that. What's everyone else think? I don't see why not. Sounds like a good offer to me. You're gonna make gear for us, yeah? Can't say no to that. No objections from me. Nor me. And you evidently know how to handle yourself. Yeah, I want a ring just like Mimi's. Splendid. Then it's a done deal. Oh, one more thing. I'll have to ask you to procure the necessary materials for my work. And of course, I'll have to ask you to reimburse me for the labor as well. What? Oh, come on! You're gonna charge us? Some generosity that is. <laughs> on the contrary, I'd be more wary of anyone who offers their services for free. And besides, I pride myself on my skills as a lapidarist extraordinaire. Rest assured that any articles you request will be delivered to the highest possible standard. Satisfaction guaranteed. Well, I suppose that's that. Lapidarist, lap, lapidarist, I'll get that word eventually. Lapidarist extraordinaire, sensing an opportunity for collaboration. Masha and the party entered in, into an exclusive contract. Be sure to take advantage of her accessory crafting services sometime. <laughs> I look forward to a fruitful partnership. So do I, Masha, and of course the inheritor is Mio, obviously. Pretty nice. Masha's class, the Lapidi Lapidarist. The role of a healer. A combat healer who heals nearby allies on critical hits. Ooh, okay. My, mm, interesting. And can also set fields that heal users' HP on art use. Ooh, that that's an interesting way of healing HP. We'll have to make full use of that. Oh, 200 more affinity points. Very intriguing. Very intriguing. Mio, we need you to... Oh, you're already a healer's class. That's absolutely perfect. Um, You're a troubadour right now, so we can put that away and change the class to Masha's class. To me. Absolutely fantastic. And then, of course, we need to change the clothing to whatever the thing is going to be. Thaumaturge? No. Where is... Oh, I just need to do base clothing. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we get her own little petticoat. I'm pretty sure that's what that's called. She's got the Cruella de Vil look, but like way more stylish. Very interesting. Very interesting. I want to see uh, a little bit more about what the actual accessory crafting has to has to offer. Because the, that like 267 number, I'm very curious about that. We have no Enigmatter. How can I enhance this? I need Naponic Gold? What is Naponic Gold? And how do I get my hands on this stuff? I'm very curious. And I could break this down. I'm not going to. Very intriguing. I suppose I can give Mio that accessory. We don't have any we don't have any things to discuss, do we? No, just Ionios is strongest. That'll come yeah, eventually. Eventually. Not anytime now. Uh, let's see. Uh, characters. Uh, Mio. Accessories. Circle of Wisdom. That's healing. Attack by 27. Reduced aggro towards self when auto attack. Yeah, get rid of that and give the pro sunrise. Yeah, that gives me more HP. Hold on. Remove this. So it goes, it's uh, HP, base HP is two is 2,494. And if I equip this, it goes up to 27, 2788. Oh, is that the amount of HP, I guess? Oh, stat bonuses. So I can get an extra 300, an extra 300 HP. Okay, I think I got this. Okay, so that's, that's interesting. And then every subsequent one, I'll get healing on the next upgrade. I'll get... I don't rec or attack on the next upgrade. I don't recognize those. Like max HP. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. How do I get more of that material? Is that something I can find on the map? Is it just like a thing that might be around? City caravan, accessory shop. How do I get more of that material? Let's uh area map. Let's go to uh an area. I suppose we can look at uh the Fornus region. Are there any points of interest. 
we might have to be aware of these points of interest because that might be... Oh, those are all the spots that we've buried. What are these? Ether channels, ether channels. I wonder. It seems like there's a lot more ether channels. I'm very curious. This is a point of interest. Let me go... Let me go to this point of interest just by Ingo Viaduct and see what this is all about because this might be a thing for Masha. We'll have to see. Nope, it looks like it's just a ladder that we can drop down. I think you operate it like... We're not... Do we know how to operate this, Noah? Don't don't worry. All right, so this is just a random ladder that we've not discovered. Tonic Waters. Interesting. It looks like there's a bunch of uh, husks over there that we haven't sent off. And I will send those off because those are a giant, like, battleground worth of soldiers. And that gave me a lot of affinity. Um... Yes, ah, ah, indeed. Killy Fours, this is a landmark? I feel like I would have discovered this earlier. We can't just leave this be. Hundred points of affinity with uh, the local colonies. That's fairly nice. Sent those guys off. Well, if that question or magnifying glass wasn't of anything importance, let's go back to the area where we originally found the the uh, the nonsense. Or yeah, this is this. It's not the same place. Honestly, I think this might be another. Yeah, it looks like this is probably another ladder. I'll we'll go over there and just look up because that's probably where they want me to go. I'm not gonna, if it's a ladder, I'm not gonna worry about it. Where is it? It's over there? Yeah, that box up there. It's another ladder. I suppose while we're over here, we can check out the same location. Yeah, they fight amongst themselves. That's what they do. I wonder how we get more, more of those materials. Maybe we just have to pick them up occasionally? Red drum seed, misty asparagus, glitter radish, sheen cedar, Guyana fossil, misty asparagus, misty asparagus, and radish. Huh. I wonder how we get more of that material. Masha, I have many questions. Is there anything on the map that would indicate stuff for us that we can pick up? Because these are ether spheres. I wonder... It seems like there is a lot of ether channels just around the place. Is there an easy ether channel that we can get to? Uh, not any of those. Nothing in there. We could go... Yeah, let's go to Hegemon Seat and then go over to this one. I don't think it'll be in the Ether channels. I think we just might... I think it's just me being not good with the collecting of the Ethers. But I am very curious. Might as well check it out. Because that, that looks like it's just a normal Ether deposit. But we might, we might get something out of it. You can never go wrong with some ether. It looks like it's just a normal selection of ether. Huh. Very curious. Very, very curious. Anyway, how many Nopon coins do I need to get Masha's class up to level 10? Go all the way up. I need a total of 26, which is fantastic. That means we'll probably be able to do... Uh, yeah, it's level 10, obviously. I'm very curious. Uh, let's go back to the map and check out the city. I don't see a question. No, I do see a question mark. That's got to be the Ascension quest. All right, so that that's the plan for the next episode. This was an interesting one. This was a very interesting episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. As this, as this loading screen is loading, we can wrap up the episode. This is going to be it for this episode. A bit of a shorter one compared to Eno's initial quest, but there was a lot more to talk about with Eno. This one, it just seems like we got some new crafting recipes, and it was a nice, simple, easy, straightforward quest. I'm very curious about how to get more materials. I might look into it between between episodes because I don't rightly know how I would get more stuff. 
it might have to do with the Ascension, Ascension quest, but I genuinely can't see it being tied to the other Ascension quest. Anyway, that is a future Thionite problem, so I will worry about that on my own time. So whether you watched this Masha Lapidarist, Lapidarist Extraordinaire Filled Jewelry Awesome episode, she's a Doyle, by the way, I think, maybe. It doesn't seem like she's a Vandom based on her words. Anyway, that's that's a theory probably we can get more knowledge on when we do her Ascension quest in the next episode. So whether you watched this one for 30 seconds or the entire thing, thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time. Later.